but you know, it's truly heating up here in H-Town. And while most of us run to find AC, there are certain critters that can't get enough of that hot summer sun including snakes. You love snakes. I do. You love them. Last Friday, Steph Gary and I got a chance to hang out with Clint, the snake man at Putajovsky, along with some of his slithery friends. Okay, Clint, so they call you the snake man yes. because you love snakes. That's a fact. Okay, what have you brought <laughs> what have you brought for us today? Because it's really interesting to look at the faces of the people passing by in the mall. Oh, they, these animals are so misunderstood, it's absolutely crazy. But what we have is a western diamondback rattlesnake. We have a southern copperhead, or the copperhead that's found in this area of Texas, a cottonmouth, also called a water moccasin, two names, one snake, and then the coral snake. And this animal crawling on top is a Colombian boa constrictor named Bibi. It's, Bibi's just chilling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a real chill fellow. He just kind of likes to hang out and loves to be pet or held. It's just a friendly animal. Okay, so let's talk some summer safety tips with snakes because, you know, on Instagram lately, I've been seeing a lot of people posting things about, oh my gosh, I have a snake in my garage. I have one in my shower even. Um, shower? Yeah, I've seen one in Would you shower. die if you got on the shower and you had a snake in I mean, there? How I lucky can you be? <laughs> I know, but it's startling though, Clint, because it's unexpected. And, and what do you do? Like, you move a box or you hop in the shower, there's a snake. What do you do? What should people look out for? We need some tips because I think people's first reaction is scream, take a picture. They want to hurt the snake. You say, don't hurt the snake. So let's get some tips, right? Well, number one, take a photo of it. Find out what it is. There's all kinds of places on Facebook that you can send the photo. Send the photo to me and I'll tell you what it is. Learn what it is, but find out how it got in your house. You know, the only reason a snake goes into a house is because there's a temperature differentiation or maybe some food's been going into your house. If you've ever had a mouse in your house, you can have a snake in your house. So oh. they do good, right? So they're, okay. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're just the following their food source. Absolutely. Okay. Let me ask you though, Clint. I mean, is there a general rule of thumb, like if you see a snake in your house in Houston, and Texas, over. Okay. <laughs> well, just put it. Put well, it we right can on. do this right. Let's just do this right. I, oh, the rattlesnake is going. <laughs> That rattlesnake is no, really not the rattlesnake. It, it, it's okay. <laughs> not to throw you off from your question. Oh, he's mad. That snake. She, okay, so most she, of the time, if, she, I'm just going to be as calm and casual as possible. So most of the time, Clint, if you just wake up and a snake is around your neck. <laughs> she it, woke she, up like this. <laughs> woke up like this. Hashtag. Is it, is it like dangerous? Like how, how likely is it that the snake you find in your house is actually going to hurt you? Very unlikely. Very in all the years that I've been working with snakes, which is over 50 years, I have seen two venomous snakes, one a copperhead out in Kingwood and one a coral snake over in Missouri City. And the one, so the one out there on the end, like Correct. that's a super, that's a coral snake? Coral snake, that's yes. That's a coral snake, and that's super venomous, right? Well, it's venomous strong, but it's not the dangerous snake. They're not deadly, they're, they're just a venomous snake. And the only way you're really going to get bit by them is you stand on it with flip flops or you hold it in your hands. It's not a striker, it's a biter. It's so cute though, it's so little. I know they're adorable, cute. but don't pick them up. <laughs> don't, don't pick them up. up. When you see, when, hi there, <laughs> when you see a snake, what you want to do is take three giant steps backwards, grab your whatever device you take photos with, take a photo of it, and get that to somebody. Learn about these animals. Because if you think about it, this copperhead, that's the most likely one to put us in the hospital here in Texas. Mm -hmm. That is oh, so cool. Oh, this one's really tickling okay. my neck. <laughs> this one's really tickling my neck right now. <laughs> That's right. So, okay. The copperhead's the most likely to put you in the hospital. Correct. Okay. So should we treat every snake sighting in Texas like it could potentially be a, a dangerous snake? I wouldn't say the word dangerous. I'd just say the word venomous. Venomous. The, the, really, when you think about these snakes, yes, treat it a sighting as it could be dangerous until you've studied them. Okay. For example, we have around 15 species. Uh -huh. Learn the 15 venomous species. 
feces. All the rest are non-venomous. I'm going to be honest right here. I am not afraid of snakes, obviously. But if this dude or any of these dudes are in my garage while I'm moving a box, it's a I, probably won't, I probably won't study them. So with, you know, just like that, yeah, the surprise factor of it. I am actually, a right, picture, it's, it's a startle effect. How do you, like, how do you handle that? Because you're going to be scared. You're going to want to, like, grab something. Well, and, and also, what if the, you're concerned that the snake's going to get away? Like, how do you contain the snake for the time? Well, a great way to do that is have a garbage can turn, that's empty, turn it upside down and put it over the snake and then put a weight on top of that and contact someone like myself that can come and rescue that snake. But you can also let it go on its way. Uh, open the garage door and let it go on its way. Uh -huh. the, the snakes are doing benefits. If you think about this little hole right here, there's only one animal made to go through it and eat the mouse on the other side. So they're doing us a benefit by going out eating rodents, providing medicines for us. Neat animals. <laughs> Okay, so you are you like a little too comfortable with that snake, <laughs> Steph Curry. I'm a slave. Wait, okay, so Clint, you said that people could call you to to try to, you know, let the rescue the snake essentially. Mm -hmm. How do people get a hold of you? Well, phones work great. 713-253-3787 is my cell phone, and I will absolutely come get the snake or I'll send somebody else or we'll communicate, we'll figure out a way to rescue the animal. I okay. think we're in love. I think yeah. you are. That is so <laughs> He okay. likes you a little too so much. So what I really like about you, real quick before we go, is you have such great information. I want to hear just a, a couple of quick fun facts and highlights about venomous snakes that we're all so afraid of. Because okay. we don't have to be so afraid of them. Well, people are just scared. Most people don't do the like you're doing, Steph. <laughs> Sorry, the, the bottom line is yawned and his fangs came out. <laughs> that is so cool. That Life is, is very good. distracted right now. <laughs> but when you look at these venomous snakes, you think about anybody that's ever had a blood clot and they broke up that blood clot. It was venom where they came up with the enzymes, the ideas to break up a blood clot. Oh. You look at the southern copperhead, they take its venom, they inject a breast cancer mass, killing all the cancer cells within that mass, preventing it from metastasizing. That's amazing stuff. Th these are not scary animals. Wow. These are animals that are helping us humans. Now, where can people find out more information? Because you have some great resources online. So where can people uh, find out all your information? and all your fun snake and, and other... Well, you can go to my website, texassnakes.net. You can look up copperhead venom and cancer. You can look up anything that you want to find and find out truths without having to be scared. Learn about the animals. Don't be scared of them. And you're on Facebook as well. Oh, absolutely. Okay, and in five seconds, what do you do if you run into a rattlesnake in the wild? Take three steps backwards. Take three steps back and go and on your way, selfie. folks. <laughs> oh, right, wow. Clint. Clint the Snake Man, Pustajowski. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank Love you. having you around. Houston Life will be right back.